Hello everybody and welcome back to the first episode of the Highland Scotty Sports uh, Sports Talk here and College Football 25 as we're going to take a quick look here and show you guys a little bit of a preview. Uh, occasionally we like to do this uh, at the start of every season. Give you guys a preview of the team going into the first game and of course the first game is going to be a Big 12 game and it's going to be against Iowa State, the Cyclones here. And of course we've played them quite a few times uh, in this, uh, well, uh, in the original series there on NCAA Football 14. And now we're starting this one new journey here in, in uh, college football 25. Uh, so as you take a look here, look at some of the players here. Higgins, uh, one of their players that is, uh, uh, well, a uh, pretty good player here. Yeah, he is, um, uh, what is that, wide receiver, uh, deep threat there for them. And he is gonna, of course, Try to cause a lot of problems for for us uh, in the deep passing game, which is going to be very key uh, for them to, of course, try to get onto us. Uh, you know, I'm not really. I've been trying to get myself uh, familiar with the secondary, and that's usually a problem for us uh, here uh, when it comes to uh, with our teams here. If you remember our original series, we had a lot of times there we had issues with our secondary, but we were, we found ways to get around that, and we're lucky enough to be really kind of seal the deal on uh, opposing receivers and quarterbacks and I'm hoping that will be the case here today but I'm kind of going in this series kind of blind here I have, like I said I'm getting kind of familiar with some of the players um, for our squad uh, for the most part here I, I really feel confident for us you know I did make us a pretty decent team uh, going in the series kind of like a, if we left off uh, if you remember from the um, the uh, two-part uh, finale there of the original series uh, you know it's been quite some time since coach bonds has been gone uh, he's been kind of a liaisons uh, to the school by helping with scholarships uh, and also helping with the coaching staff uh, trying to build a decent coaching staff but not really too much hands-on he's more of a uh, athletic director slash uh, recruit you know help with recruitment and now being coming back in that uh, in that inner circle now being the head coach here again uh, with you know him being gone for what the last uh, four or five years now uh, you know times are different and he's got to get used to this new generation of players here as uh, you take a look here we look at uh, Bo here uh, one of their other uh, receivers here who uh, seems like he or actually uh, one of the uh, uh, off our defense players here <coughs> he has a pretty good fit Physicals there, of course, uh, his uh, ratings are pretty decent there as well. Uh, you see uh, Call House, Blow Up, Hammer, Wrap Up, and of course, Shock after Shock there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, take a look here at the halfback. Of course, this is one of my uh, things that I really try to, I, I can really pat myself on the back here because we usually do a pretty good job of shutting down the run for opposing teams. But occasionally, you know, you have that game where it kind of gets away from you. And you got a guy like this young man here, three-star uh, high school athlete, uh, sophomore. He's from Des Moines, Iowa, and of course, trying to stop him, he's one of those elusive backs there. So he's going to be—he's uh, going to have a lot of uh, speed on him. You see his quickness there at 91. Uh, and of course, uh, good hand, decent hands there. Not the best, but route running is going to be an issue for him. So he's definitely going to be a guy that's going to be trying to have that north and south game uh, against us and. Uh, I feel like if we, he gets that one good move, that one good block, that one good uh, spin or, or shift of the, uh, you know, a little shake move there, uh, he'll definitely take out uh, our uh, defensive rushing numbers there and uh, really cause a problem for us. So that's definitely something that we're going to be very aware of. Uh, of course, uh, Miles Purchase, uh, three-star athlete from Denver, Colorado, uh, senior red shirt. Uh, corner, of course, uh, I always get nervous, especially playing this game here this year with the passing game here. Um, you know, we our quarterback, he's a decent quarterback, he can throw deep, but uh, at times, there are times I, I don't know if it's the player necessarily, but I think at times, I think the game does kind of shortchange your quarterback. Uh, we have, I think, I believe our quarterback Robinson has like 91 deep passing. But every time I try to deep pass it, and of course it could be because I'm uh, throwing on the run. Maybe his throwing the run is not that great. Um, I def I def some, something I definitely have to look at before we play this game. But, um, you know, it's the issue of, you know, we're not uh, doing a good job of making sure 
Um, you know, I feel like the game always kind of short changes us uh, there in the passing game. It throws it, throws it too short when it's really not too short. Um, and then also too, just like, um, it also has issues of just jumping so much. And as of late, uh, at least up to this video right now, as it's coming out here by now, uh, we've already had several upgrade updates on the game and they've updated the game. Um, like I said, um, trying, I'm trying to get this series going. I'm trying to work on two series at the same time of the same, uh, same school. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, uh, I'm already recording now already. I think I got the first four or five games already in, in the can right now for you guys. So, um, since then, uh, I will say for the gameplay that you'll see here for really the first two games are probably a, the first for the first two games to the, the games three and four is probably about a month different so there's been at least two up, updates since then between those uh, between the first two games and the, and the four and the games three and four <coughs> excuse me uh, so there'll be some slight differences in the gameplay uh, and, and, and how the game plays uh, for the most part um, but I also try to do with the with about the game for the most part here I try to use match in sliders and 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 uh, he's been making some updates and some slight changes here and there and modifies and stuff. And I, of course I have been doing the same thing. Um, modifying, uh, the one of the game slides I've been kind of testing, uh, with as well. So, uh, there can be some slides that I'm kind of working on right now that I'm working on a, on a, on a, uh, you know, a dummy, uh, franchise, uh, or dynasty as well. Uh, there you see Rocco, the quarterback there, pretty good, uh, strong arm there for him. Uh, he is from uh, Wes Wesley Chapel, Florida. Uh, he's a Central Florida guy. Uh, there you see a two-star field general uh, quarterback there, sophomore red shirt, or excuse me, sophomore player. Uh, and he's going to be, we're going to have to deal with him for the next two more years, and we'll see how accurate he is. He has pretty good accuracy, 87 overall. Um, they're an 87, 92 power. IQ is pretty good. Health, and of course, uh, his quickness up there as well. Not, not too quick, but... Um, probably just enough to get himself out of some trouble if that uh, happens to be here in this game. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to try to put a pressure on him just like we usually do with any uh, you know team we play against. It's just trying to find that weak point in the defensive line or excuse me, the weak point in their offensive line. And of course, just try to attack and attack as best as we possibly can. And, uh, just, and also too, just avoid trying to get any uh, kind of penalties as well because uh, with the new slider set I've noticed that there is some issues with uh, they do call a lot of um, uh, d uh, quarter, uh, quarter you know gr uh, what is it rough the passer as well as rough the kicker a lot so uh, that's something I'm I'm, I'm kind of on the fence there if we're gonna you know if it's gonna call too much which some of the some of the games I have been playing um, in another friend another dynasty I've been playing in it has been calling it way too much, so I think for the most part, I think for the first for this first season, we'll see if things change or not. But I think we'll just shut them off and won't worry about that. Uh, there you see Jarius Bolden, no relation to myself. Uh, he is going to be, of course, the, one of our top players there, 93 overall on the defensive side of things. And I cannot wait for this young man to really just show what he can do there in on that field there. And of course, another uh, great player here, Quentin Dyson. Uh, defensive tackle. He is going to be a monster uh, when it comes to the rushing game here. I cannot wait. Uh, looking at him at practice, he just looks like a cool, uh, cool, calm, collected guy. Um, and, uh, you know, he gets uh, fired up, especially he's smart. He's really intelligent there. As you take, take a look at his IQ, uh, <coughs> can read a play very well. And knows what to do. He's not over aggressive. Uh, so I'm really hoping that he will be one of the uh, linchpins when it comes to uh, the, the defensive side of things, especially the defensive line, and he can get in there and just uh, cause some havoc and get a, get to the quarterback or the halfback, whoever has the ball uh, in the game, and he can get to him uh, quite good. Uh, you see, he is a fan favorite, uh, defensive rally, uh, defensive line rally guy, and of course a road dog there. So he plays uh, very good on the road, and that's what we kind of need when it comes to their defensive side of things. Uh, there you see some of his physicals there. And of course, our quarterback here, who is going to be very important for us, Tyreek Robinson Jr., quarterback from Alabama, 
6'4", 202 pounds, four-star athlete. And like I said, uh, some of the games I've been uh, practicing with and uh, you know playing off uh, here as we're getting this series started here, <coughs> I feel like we shortchanged him a little bit there. There you see his throw power, his awareness, his health, really good health. But he, of course, his elusiveness, not the greatest there. He can't really break tackles or sacks. Um, but that's something we're going to try to work on here, uh, building that up. And of course, we're trying to work up on his skills uh, or his quickness as well. Uh, try to get him to be more of a speedster uh, when it comes to when he does snap the ball and has to get out of some uh, jams there when it comes to offensive line. Because like I said, our offensive line is not the greatest, which we're kind of used to that with Highland. Uh, if you've seen the past series there, we've always had that. But at the same time, we've always found a way to uh, kind of mask that, that issue and gotten better. And of course, towards the, there to the end of that series there, we were having a really good uh, offensive line lineman coming in there. So I know that's one thing Coach Bond said that's something he is really going to work on being the base every season. He's going to try to recruit as many offensive linemen there as he can bring in and uh, and help out help out with the uh, offense there and really try to make sure this quarterback is being protected or any quarterback really uh, that we have in the future is being protected. Uh, Avery, a guy there I, I'm really excited about, you know, you guys have been following me in this series, uh, this, especially with this school. Particularly. You know I love my halfbacks here. And I feel like this kid right here, this sophomore, is going to be bringing something special to us um, here in this series. Him and Bo. I think both of them are going to bring something special to our running game there. And I cannot wait because those are our guys. We're going to run a two-headed monster when it comes to the backfield there. And so far, what I've, uh, what I've enjoyed about it, and what I've uh, seen um, from practices like this, this is going to be something very, very special <coughs> and very, very uh, true and honest to our, our, our to our organization, to this, uh, to the school, and to this program. Um, these guys can just explode out of the backfield here and get down the field and just do a great job there. Uh, wide receiver uh, Ty J Ty J uh, ja, ja, uh, Travis. Parker, <laughs> jeez, um, Parker, uh, of course, great route running, great hands, uh, quickness is up there, uh, IQ is superb, he just know he knows where he's at on the field, and uh, getting to him is going to be a lot of fun, if we can get find some mismatches there in these games coming up here, uh, I think he is going to be one player, I think he's going to be a player that could really um, probably be a future May, definitely not this season, but maybe next season uh, could be a Heisman run there for us. So um, I, I really think uh, what he can do, what, he, you know, I, what I've seen in practice, and what I've seen him in other games, especially from last season, uh, you know, he is a very talented young man. And um, we're going to see what he can do uh, on the field here coming up as uh, we uh, take a look here at the rest of the uh, team, or rest of the players here. Uh, there you see, we already got some red shirts here as well, as we're showing those there. <coughs> and of course, red shirts is always the toughest thing to do, to do because, you know, I want to give some freshmen, well, at least this year, this in this game here, uh, they get four games they can play in. Uh, we can register them as a red shirt, but we can put them in four games. So four of the 12 games, they get a chance to show what they can do. And I think uh, I kind of got an idea of play, the guys I want to use in those four games. Uh, to get some experience so they can see we'll see what they're like on the field and whatnot and of course uh, if we play them more than four games then they'll lose a red shirt but right now I am red shirt and some of these players here uh, that you're looking at here on your screen right now because um, uh, some fact because we I want to keep the eligibility I want them to have them come back uh, next season and be able to um, you know do you know just do some great things for us uh, there on the field. So uh, we got a, some really good freshmen uh, that I'm really concerned about here uh, that I want to make sure we take care of them. Um, of course, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, uh, it's it's always tough. It always It's always tough trying to make sure uh, we redshirt the right guys because uh, we redshirt the wrong ones there. And then, of course, especially in this game, uh, they can all, they can say, hey, you know, I'm going to transfer out and I'm going to go do my thing over here. Uh, so we got to be very careful who we, uh, you know, red shirt. Uh, but like I said, we're gonna try to give them some opportunities, to get some playing time in, and see what they can do, and uh, try to get them on the field 
uh, as as much as we possibly can there. Just like I said, as a uh, way of trying to show what <coughs> the possibilities they have uh, for this uh, for this organ for this program in future years. Uh, but of course, like I said, you know, the, and of course, you know, we're gonna try to bring in some guys here. Uh, and this game, it's a little tougher to recruit. It really is because, um, you know, with us, we only have so many hours. We're brand new, you know, quote unquote, brand new school in this game, uh, which we are. But you know, in in continuity of the series, uh, you know, Highland's been around here for a while. And of course, for us to get those numbers up and get more hours, we have to win more games. We have to become a winning program, and of course, we got to, uh, you know, build up our recruiting. Uh, our recruiting numbers there we're using our coaches points uh to help uh you know build up that recruiting base and, uh, and and just be able to branch out to other states and build those pipelines with other schools and stuff so it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be tough but uh you know like i said we always uh you know for this series if you remember from the you know from the NCAA series um there we had some struggles but we were always finding a way to get ourselves in position uh, where we wanted to be, and uh, we did a great job. Uh, you know, we had, had a successful program there, and now we're just trying to see if we can do the same thing again here. Um, now with Coach Bonds here, now in a more modern day uh, NCAA. So there you see, just wrapping up here, the little final uh, spots here. Like I said, we got a couple more freshmen here that we're looking at here. I was even thinking about even maybe get uh, having some of the uh, upperclassmen that haven't been registered yet. Maybe possibly redshirting them as well. Got some uh, couple of juniors, a uh, couple of sophomores as well that are uh, that I would like to have stick around for another year uh, and redshirt them here. But at the same time, you know, if we do that, there might be a possible slight possibility here that they might say, "Hey, uh, you redshirted me there, coach. Uh, you know, that was not cool of you. Um, you know, uh, I might just take off and uh, you know go somewhere else next year." So. Yeah, that is uh, been you know that's one of the things in this game that we have to kind of be concerned about and watch out for. Um, but you know, I'm hoping that uh, if we, you know, really truly, I've been watching a lot of people play this game and and, and stream you know whether because they're streaming it and stuff like that. And also, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube here talk about it and whatnot. And you, it, when it comes down to it, just like any, just like in real life, to have a successful program, you have to get wins, and especially you have to get some big wins. To convince and sway people uh, to come to your school, so that is something that you know we've we've been able to do in the original series. Uh, you know, we wasn't necessarily the you know Alabamas or the Georgias or the Notre Dames or whatever schools you want to you know whatever you know put insert any power you know power school in there uh, in that sentence. But you know we're, we were becoming a powerhouse and we were becoming almost a household name and. I'm hoping that in this series here that we can do that, and I think we'll be able to do that. Uh, but we just gotta, you know, we we gotta this first season, you know, we're kind of not messing with the schedule. We're kind of leaving the schedule as it is. But then in year two, uh, we'll definitely change things up. We'll definitely, you know, attack some of the bigger schools. I do want to play against Alabama in Alabama. Go right there into the Lions Den and take on them. Uh, but also too, um, you know. Play some up-and-coming schools there that are just uh, just as deadly, just as uh, as a huge threat um, to those big schools as well. That could uh, we, we can try to make a name off of. So yeah, uh, it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I think uh, for the most part here, this series, um, you know, it, we're we're gonna have some good uh, we're gonna have some good times. We're gonna have some bad times. But I think for the most part here, uh, we're gonna have uh, it's gonna be a f very Unique and fun series. I cannot wait to get into it and um, and really try to bring uh, you know to life this series like we did with the original one. So like I said, we take on Iowa State. It'll be the first game of the season, first game of the Big 12 for both schools, and we'll see if we can start off on the right foot here. Our success over Iowa State over the past years have have been in our favor, but of course, like I said, this is a new breed, a new challenge here in this game. Forget about what you've, uh, you know, you, we've seen about Iowa State in the past in the original game, the original series. This is a total different Iowa State. That's a huge threat. They like to throw the ball quite often and make big plays down the field. And of course, they have a decent running game as well. So, 
all the those different factors uh, when it comes to uh, trying to win the game. That's what we're gonna have to focus on. Make sure we stay in our game. Make sure you know once we do have the lead, make sure we make them play our type of game that we want them to play. Uh, be in control of the ball, have uh, that time possession, and of course, uh, make smart, uh, intelligent plays, uh, both on through the air and to the ground. Uh, so, but that's it for this episode. Uh, of course, like I said, the next one you'll see it'll be I think in week <coughs> week seven. I think is our, our first our first bye week of the season. Uh, so we'll of course uh, show you guys the stats and numbers and all that kind of stuff uh, going into that week, but. Yeah, we'll see uh, some possible future episodes of all of course, of this series, uh, this uh, Sky Sports Talk, and, of course, the main series. So stay tuned for the first game coming up here in the next uh, couple of days or two. Give me about a day or two for it, and uh, we'll see what Highland does in the first game of the season. As always, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new. Hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified of this series or any of the series on the channel. Follow us on uh, social media down below in the description in this video as well as don't forget to check us out on our second channel over on ESG and net plus LP for more college football 25 content over there as well as always keep yourselves healthy go Scotty nation I will see you guys next time <laughs>